Hi, my name's Claire Basanko and I'm a doctor with the Air Ambulance. I've been in the fire service now for over 20 years. I'm a paramedic with the Ambulance Service and I've been doing that job for 31 years. I'm a roads policing officer for Devon and Cornwall Police. My name's Mick and I'm a firefighter with Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue Service. My name's Helen and I'm a mum. My name's Greg. I'm going to talk to you today about Will. Katie. Paul. Amy. Natasha. Bethany. Alexandra had been pleading with us almost to get, it, get him out. Daniel was a little boy. Um, three o'clock in the morning, some bloke on his way to work, coming the opposite way, head on car crash. The car went about 30 foot up in the air. Our helicopter landed on the road about 200 metres from the crash scene. There was no doubt that there were people trapped in this car. The car had pretty much opened like a can of beans at the top. We made a decision then to spread the front door open as well so that we could cut the door post out to get, get us better access to Alexander and his leg. I remember looking down at him and as I was cutting his t-shirt off, it struck me. This is a child dying in front of me. And it was at this point, as she was holding my hand, talking to me, looking at my face, that really without any warning, uh, she just died. She had suffered horrendous injuries. My son had died in a car crash. Our lives are never going to be the same again since we've lost Bethany. So my message to you, if you're watching this, is to please, please take care of each other. Put your mobile phone in the glove compartment, turn it off. Do not drive tired and do not drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs. As a driver, please don't speed. It's just not worth it. All I will say to you is, you know, just think. Don't get in cars with people that have been drinking that drive like idiots. Just don't become the next story on Learn to Live.